I'm going to speak a bit about architecture as it relates to the Internet of Things. As a designer, I love architecture. You know, it's the embodiment of, of creativity and engineering. But the architecture that we see is a visual experience, and we often miss what underlies what we see. So there's a blueprint within any structure that we see that defines the final structure, the experience that we have. And as we look at the Internet of Things, it's not just about one element, but it's the combination of these elements that becomes important. As we look at famous, great, brilliant architectures, they are the combination of components in a given system that work together in, in a way. So they really become more than individual components, they are more than the sum of the parts of these components. Brilliant architectures, like the Guggenheim here, uh, my favorite, I like Bilbao in Venice, but the one in New York, really are the essence of form and function. What you see is what you get. It's a WYSIWYG type interface. Uh, the form and function here, you know, you could come to the top of the Guggenheim and support a use case of riding down on a skateboard as you're viewing the artwork on the way down. This design as well, um, Frank Lloyd Wright, expresses the, the best of architecture to me because there are elements within that combine to create a complete experience. When we think of digital architecture, as opposed to the static architectures that I spoke to, digital is alive, it's moving, it's dynamic. It's dynamic at a component level, it's dynamic at a systems level, integrating components together. So I think as interaction designers, we're often focused on the end user experience, but we miss the fact that architecting the elements of the Internet of Things, from sensors to gateways to cloud to the applications and devices that people use, are the equation that make the experience brilliant. And we can't just look at isolated elements. Often interaction designers focus on what is the experience at the application where semiconductor designers focus on what is the optimized architecture for the components on a board or in a chip or SOC. What I'm going to suggest is we need to look at these together. We've been working on some projects applying design thinking to how we at Rambus architect semiconductor technologies in terms of the ability to capture data, to secure data, and to move data. And when we look at the use cases associated with IoT, some use cases are very simple. We have sensors that have some radio capability that automatically transmit the sensed data up to the cloud, where in other cases there are going to be multiple sensors that are aggregating um, to a super sensor, a sensor fusion, or to gateways, packaging that data in an encrypted way to forward it to the cloud and then bring it back for an end user experience. The work that we've done in this area really looked at three pillars. One being capture, the sensors. One being uh, secure, how we package that data. And the other being the movement of that data back and forth. And I suggest this paradigm is an interesting way to look at the total experience of the architecture of the Internet of Things. Not just, again, the end user digital experience, but thinking from a design thinking perspective of what is the optimal way to integrate sensors to pass that data through to be able to deliver it uh, to end users? We worked recently with Frog Design to look at the catalog of technologies that we had at Rambus and challenge ourselves on what would be the best way to integrate these. And at the end of this engagement, we put together a brief video that highlights the way we could think about this capture, secure move. And let's have a look at that video and then we'll come back and I'll share some thoughts on that.
So we saw two key use cases over here, one much more simple and the one that we see you know, much of today, where I have a finite set of sensors that are capturing uh, environmental data and personal data, sending it to the cloud and being able to observe that on a device, in this case a smartphone. The second one was much more complex as there were more sensors integrated into the environment within her apartment and through this teleconference, video conference with her doctor, that data needed to be securely transmitted up. So you saw this notion of a gateway that was packaging that data and then, uh, and then transmitting it up. I think, again, from a total experience design, we could think of the architectural design in terms of digital experience, but we need to, to step back and ask ourselves, as we were hearing Massimo talk about Arduino and the capabilities of, of democratizing sensor technology so everybody can use it, we need to ask ourselves, what is the best way to, to capture data? What are the requirements for securing that data as we pass it? And then how should it be presented back as we, as we move data? So the key theme that I wanted to express here is, you know, architecture does matter when we're designing the support for the use cases of, of IoT. So with that, I'll, uh, I'll carry on.